think about generations, I think about, well, some of the things that God's freed us from, mm -hmm. honestly. And as we are continuing to plant here, mm -hmm. the generations get to actually sit in that fruit. Yes. So like generational curses and some of the things that we've dealt with, whether it's been from fear of identity or fear of money mm -hmm. or being freed from um, our sexual past, whatever it might be. What we're planting right now, it gets to be eternity, eternal for right. Ezzy and like his friends. They'll be, get to sit in this fruit because we've kind of carved it already out mm -hmm. and they get to sit in this faith. Yeah, Kevin likes to say that he feels he's walking now in the prayers of his parents. Yeah. And so I think we're actually paving the way for the next generation and the generation after that, both with our prayers and also our, our faithfulness and our giving and generosity, just knowing that everything we give has an eternal impact. It's yeah. going way farther than we can even imagine. And something I'm really excited about with, with the kids, kids program and just talking and, and hearing from youth is just, establishing that we all can hear from the Holy Spirit. That's great. I think I didn't grow up knowing that I could hear from God, that He actually is my guide and my counselor and the one who helps me through all the tough things. Yeah. Um, that He's a better parent than our parents could ever be. So I'm excited about kids knowing that mm -hmm. and, and actually teaching them and giving them experiences to hear from God Himself. I love that. Yeah. It's, we're creating long lasting fruit. Yes. So they get to sit and they get to enjoy and then they get to pass to their kids. Mm -hmm. And so every generous gift, every sowing of that seed is just producing that. Right, and we, we believe that the impact of the church in, on a city is tremendous. Yeah. We can really change change the trajectory of people's lives yeah. by just being present, by being here. So we're really excited to see what God's going to do in this city and partner and stand with the cloud of witnesses that have come before us particularly in Philadelphia. Um, we are not the first and we won't be the last to proclaim the name of Jesus. And we believe that revival days are coming, revival days are here.